Hello, and welcome to the 2021 Elgin Fringe Festival. We're back! We would like to take the time to thank you, the festival goers, for your dedicated support of the arts. We could not have done this without the generous support of the City of Elgin, Elgin Cultural Arts Commission, Illinois Arts Council, Elgin Public House, Palmer Foundation, Side Street Studio Arts, the venues, artists, numerous other donors and volunteers, and you. That being said, in order to be an excellent fringe audience, we ask that you please silence all wireless devices at this time. Also, please refrain from taking photographs during the performance unless you're a designated fringe photographer. Please make sure to notice the exits around you in case of emergency. Now, sit back, relax, and remember, Whatever happens, happens. On with the show! Oh, no, 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 no. Married, and I got married. 
my wife, my wife, Monica. I know what you're thinking, no, not that Monica. <laughs> anyway, she's like, I, I heard your favorite food is guacamole. And I said, yeah, I've been telling you that since before we were married. Why don't you listen more? And she's like, I don't know. And then she's like, I made you guacamole. Turned out it was wasabi. Oh, no. That's my story. Thank you very much. My name is Mater the Dio. Uh, anybody else like dips? Oh, look, it's one of the hosts that's supposed to be introducing the next thing. Well, you know, I can't introduce everything. It's like... No, but you're supposed to be. Come on up. You're going to introduce the next thing. I'm going to go out. I, thank you very much. So, our next act is something very sexy. Very sexy. Uh, granted, she only got into the show because she had incriminating photos of me. But, uh, you know, uh, look, we needed acts, so why not? Uh, so this is a burlesque act, uh, a little bit, uh, little bit saucy, a little bit risque. And here she is, the lady who would uh, dance. I'm glad we're together again today. I've been thinking about music. Mm -hmm. I guess you know that I really love music. It's been very, very important to me since I was very little. We can sing together. We can sing together. We can sing together. I just felt like dancing as I was so recently. See a cat's eyes in the dark and wonder what they were. What they were. Did you ever pretend about things like that? Did you You can grow ideas in the garden of your mind. It's good to be curious about many things. You can think about things and thankfully all you have to do is think. Don't grow.
got a throne and she's got a sunflower. So that means she smokes weed. Claudia, do you smoke weed? That means all the time. Claudia smokes a lot of weed, that's what this card tells me. And she's holding a big stack. Claudia, can I ask you a personal question? When was the last time you held a big stack? Come on, people! Claudia needs some love! This card means it's going to happen soon. Probably from this guy who just walked in front of me. All right, let's find another victim, I mean person. Yes, you, sir! You look like you're in tune with the spirit world. All right, thank you, spirit world. I got the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune! So, it's not Pat Sajak. Shut the hell up, Pat, okay? That's not what it is. So, the Wheel of Fortune has a lady in the middle, and then four people. One, the wheel is resting on this person's back. They're like doggy style on the ground, and there's a wheel on top of them with ladies in the wheel. And there are two people hanging from the sides of the wheel, one upside down, and then one person squatting on top of the lady's head. Look, it's look, look, you don't think I'm moving up high? He's walking on the lady's head. Yeah, this is some kinky shit, people. So if you look carefully, the lady is blindfolded. In this, you are the blindfolded person in the middle of the wheel. You, sir, are the squatter. It's like this. And then, you and you are hanging on the sides. So you just want to watch. Wait. Okay. What? <laughs> what do you mean by the squatter? Like you're on top of the head, squatting. I don't. It's very clear to me. I don't know why you're so confused. And then you, sir, you are the doggy style in this endeavor. So this is the doggy style, and the two watchers and the squatter. You're gonna have a great time tonight. Is what this is saying. Enjoy yourself very much. All right. I have one more eating for you before I talk. I'm going to take a card, and this is going to be for the entire room. Oh, man. It's a six of wands. So if you look, there's a guy on a horse with a wand and a ring, and a bunch of angry people behind you. What this means is that I said something that upset somebody in this room, maybe all of you. It's probably this guy, let's be real. And you're going to chase me out of town with a bunch of sticks. Which is really not cool, people. I'm trying to entertain you here. But you know what, it's okay, because I'm kind of into that. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, you do. All right, thank you so much. Your fortunes are amazing. You two people are very lucky, especially Claudia. Claudia, oh man. Good luck to you, that's me. That was a heck of a wand on that card. I am Spiros the Very Bad Fortune Teller. Thank you very much. was very, very bad. And he really is the worst. He's the owner's son. I told you, and we are uh, back on track here with our little tiny stories, the dragonflies. So next we have uh, a story. What uh, what is this story about? Not you, sir. I, I still you still owe me for that buckle. Name literally anything. Potatoes. Maybe not a food. Mars. Communism? Well, as you are in luck, because our next, <laughs> because our, our next breeder uh, is an expert and a fascist. So, so please welcome Donna Barnacle. Hi, I'm afraid of that other microphone because it echoes. My name is Donna, and I'm going to tell you a story. One time when I was five years old, I had a sandbox. It was one of those sandboxes that's shaped like a turtle. You guys know those sandboxes shaped like a turtle? I think we all have those sandboxes shaped like a turtle. Um, 
and it was my favorite, favorite thing in the whole world. I love the sand bus. It was my, my universe. I built little castles. I, I buried my Barbies in there. Sometimes I dug them up. Sometimes I just left it like one of those little body farms where you see how rapidly they decompose. Sometimes the dog carried them off. <laughs> anyway, so I had the sandbox, and I actually love the sandbox. And then this family moved in next door, and they didn't have a sandbox. So my mom said they could use my sandbox. They had seven kids in my sandbox. The I earned by being adorable. I was five. So I had to share my sandbox with all of the neighborhood, even though they didn't earn it. And that's how I learned about communism. <laughs> that was so great. So many kids in her box. <laughs>
up the joint. Spelled by my hand. Mere bumps upon my path, my journey. Innards strewn across the sun drenched road. My steed, unfazed by the trivial fauna, flows ever onward. She knows not the souls destroyed beneath her tires, but only feels the fire burning deep within her cylinders. On Pontiac, I roar, the carcasses cast behind. As the blurs of humanity pass by the tempered driver's glass, I rhythm rhythmically jerk my head down and up, up but down. <laughs> <laughs> the crew blasting my hammer, anvil, and stirrup with joy. Girls, 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 the timeless anthem of man. Twelve miles to the gallon is all the efficiency one needs. As my Valkyrie roars beyond your hybrid, I laugh. Ha 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 The environment is not to be saved, but dominated by man. And progress cannot run faster than my Trans Am. I, hate, I shake my head in pity, passing a baby on board SUV. Formerly manly, shackled by a family, caged by idiocy. Freedom is what I will always have, by choice, not by fate, I swear. My only wife, the road. My only passenger, a cooler full of keystone. <laughs> a trail of mouth up deep forehead smashed cans show my path. I'm a modern day Hansel with an unlimited supply of 12 ounce breadcrumbs. <laughs> the blacktop teases me, wobbling to the left and the right. To steady things, I follow the guidance of Macho Man, a Slim Jim is snapped into. My gut, fueled by meat byproduct and cheap beer, screams for me to continue. Eyes twitching along the dashed lines of my path, I slam my fists into them to steady. As my man paws return to the wheel, as they return to control, a shapeless form caves in my steed's gilded hood and cartwheels over the top. I cast my eyes upon the mirror, near blinded by the sunset I see. A still silhouette shrinks as Pontiac roars on. But then the unthinkable, my steed shudders, something amiss. As she gives out a rattle, a rattle, a thunder, a final clatter, boom, boom, boom. I have no choice but to call. That poem was titled The Car x -Man. <laughs> I know this sounds weird coming from a guy wearing a luchador mask, but that is one weird dude. <laughs> well, we're going to take a well 180 uh, degree turn here. We have something uh, brand new to our show. Uh, I haven't even seen it. It's an animal tamer. Uh, where are you from, dear? Oh, um, I, I'm, I'm from Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie? What the hell animals do you even have there? Lots of animals. Okay, so she has lots of animals. She's from Poughkeepsie, and her name is Margie. I don't have a last name for her. <laughs>
think that turtle was dead. <laughs> <laughs> we got ripped off on that. Can you believe we paid her $2,000 to do that? <laughs> That's damn crazy. Look, we have another performer coming up. We actually have our third and final dragonfly story. If you don't remember, those were really short stories that we've been telling throughout the show. Our last performer is going to be talking about something you would not believe. He's talking about... Nacho chips. Nacho chips? He's going to be talking about nacho chips. His name is Chestar Chitar. Chestar Chitar! Chester. <laughs> the bowl was oblong. Salt covered the bottom. Somebody was reckless with the bag as they shook the contents into the bowl. What are you doing, I asked as they carelessly discarded the chips in said container. Uh, I'm pouring chips, is what they said. Is it, respect the chips. Act as though they're your chips. As it is, they're my chips. They are not show chips. <laughs> and, and for Pete's sake, would salsa kill you? Uh, we've had a little bit of uh, music already, and 
and uh, now we're going to have some more. So we have our next uh, song. You will not get to choose whatever food I know you wanted to song to be about. Uh, she is going. She has her own song. So sorry, no uh, queso or whatever the hell else you were going to say. Is it my mask that is telling you to say these things, sir? Is this some sort of uh, racial divide I'm, I'm detecting? <laughs> I cannot blame you. It is the world's finest cuisine. But right now, we have our song from Miss Amanda.
quotes from that stupid alien either. I thought this was yodeling. That's not what it said on my Oh, there's a typo. It's yodeling. Show on Sunday. Sunday at four o'clock. At four o'clock, right here and with the drinks. 